when I was a kid, 2028 sounded like the future. Like we'd all have jetpacks and monorails and be taking our food in little pills like astronauts. Here it is. I'm telling you, we're not astronauts. All I know is my broadband's still too slow. You can't get bananas anymore. They've all died out. The kids demand 27 types of telly, all more expensive than the last, and gas and electric are going through the roof. I tried to think. 2028. What the hell is it when I saw what was next? And the blackouts continue. cyber attacks. Could be Russia, could be ISIS, could be teenagers in a bedroom. The power cuts mean that so much information is being lost. We're going back to printing things on paper. It's just so papery. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's silly. And tomorrow, it's the same. We've now had 50 days of rain. And we have reached 60 days of rain. It's official. 80 days of rain. Explosion in Leeds city centre has been confirmed as a dirty bomb. And it's bang, and then there's this dust, there's all this dust. It's radioactive and I've breathed it in. What do I do? What do I do? Radioactivity, that's not you. Reports of a second dirty bomb here in Bristol city centre. The whole city's been poisoned. We've got to get out of here right now. It's a housing crisis on an unprecedented scale. Vivian Rook has introduced the bedroom law. Anyone with two spare bedrooms must be available to take in any homeless UK citizen. It's a